I'm very excited to do this audio called The Money-Making Secrets Revealed. The reason is there's a lot of information out there these days on how to attract success, how to attract money, how to make millions, how to make money at home on the Internet, how to make money in real estate, how to make money selling stocks, options, forex, commodities. There's one money-making seminar after the other. There are more books on how to get rich, how to become successful, how to make money coming out than ever before. There are more home study courses and online courses being sold on how to make millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars a month, on and on. And I think most of these are doing a great disservice because they're sharing information that really is not accurate and quite frankly in most cases doesn't really work. Now, I wanted to put together this audio to share with you the money-making secrets that they don't want you to know about because there are secrets to making money that the government and certain groups don't want the average person to know. And there's a lot of reasons politically why it's to the advantage of the government to keep you suppressed, to keep you in debt, and to keep you a virtual slave. If you pay attention to what I have to say, I am convinced that you can start making more money than you ever thought possible. Now, I want to ask you a question. What would you do if money wasn't an object? If money isn't an object, you hit the lottery, what would you do? Now, think about this for a moment. Money's not an object, so let me help you a little bit. First, would you pay off your bills? Would you pay off your credit cards? I bet you most of you would say yes, and wouldn't that make you feel good? Man, you probably sleep better than you ever had in your life. Would you take some of that money and maybe buy some gold bullion or silver and a big safe and put it in your house? Would you take money, if money wasn't an object, would you buy a new car or several cars? What would be your dream car? Would you re-landscape your house? Would you make an addition on your house? Would you buy new furniture? Heck, would you buy a new house? Or would you buy a second vacation home? Would you buy different clothes? Would you go on a shopping spree? Would you buy jewelry? Guys, would you like a Rolex watch? Diamond watch? What type of jewelry would you buy? Shoes. What type of shoes would you buy? What would you do if money wasn't an object? What would you do? Would you put money away for your college education for your kids? Would you take care of your parents? Would you put money away for retirement? What would you do if money wasn't an object? Would you travel? Where would you go? Would you go to Hawaii? Would you go to Europe, Paris, London? Where would you travel to? Italy? Would you take a cruise? Would you travel to the Orient, Japan or China or Australia? Would you go on an African safari? Where would you travel to if money wasn't an object? Would you travel first class? What type of hotels would you stay in? Think about that for a second. The reason that I'm asking you this is this is the first money-making secret that they don't want you to know about. The first money-making secret is simply you have to have a dream. And you have to have a burning desire for its achievement. Most people completely miss this vital point. Here's what most people do. They don't dream. They don't dream at all because they look at how much income they have and then they say, this is how much money I make. So based on the amount of money I make, that will determine what I want in life. Most people look at the income and based on their income, they determine what type of car they want, what type of vacation they can go on, what type of clothes, what type of restaurants they can go to. 
Do you understand? This is a money-making secret. If you want to make large amounts of money, the first thing that you must do, and it is a must, it isn't an option, you must define your dream. In other words, define what you want and get a burning desire for its achievement. By the way, I'm not making this up. This was actually published in a book called The Law of Success in 16 Lessons by Napoleon Hill and his follow-up book called Think and Grow Rich. Now, who's Napoleon Hill? Today, unfortunately, most people have never heard of him. But at the turn of the century, a young Napoleon Hill was hired by the richest man in the world, Andrew Carnegie, who was the founder of U.S. Steel. Andrew Carnegie hired Napoleon Hill and taught Napoleon Hill the success secrets that up until that point had never been revealed to the mass public. They were held as a secret by the privileged elite class. Andrew Carnegie taught Napoleon Hill these success principles and introduced Napoleon Hill to the most successful people in the world at that time. Firestone, Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein, and many others. Napoleon Hill then studied the most successful people and put together the principles of success in the volume, The Law of Success, in 16 Lessons, and then his follow-up abridged volume called Think and Grow Rich. And the number one most important ingredient, and without it, you are guaranteed to fail, the number one thing you must do is define your dream and get a burning desire for its achievement. To the question again, what would you do if money wasn't an object? This for most people is hard because you're thinking about, well, how am I going to get the money? That is failure thinking. Thinking about the how is what failures and losers do. Winners and successful people never think about the how first. They always define their dream first and get a burning desire for its achievement. If you want to achieve success in your life, if you want to pay off all your bills and be debt free, if you want a luxury car of your dreams, and what kind of car, think about what people love cars, what kind of car would you get? I just gave away 10 brand new BMW 5 Series. People were off the charts happy. What type of car would you ask for? You wanted to get a free car. Let's say you just won uh, a raffle, and the raffle says you get to get any car you want. That You just won. What car would you get? Would it be a Porsche? Would it be a Cadillac? Would it be a Mercedes, a BMW, a Bentley, a Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Maserati? What, what, what's your dream car? Not the most expensive. What's your dream car? What car do you want? Think about it. What do you want in life? Maybe the things you want are not material. Maybe you want to author a novel and get it published. Maybe your dream is to have a better relationship with your spouse. Maybe that's the most important thing in your life. Maybe your dream is to have a better relationship with your kids, or your dream is to get into a relationship. What do you want? Maybe you want a better job. Maybe you want a better working environment. What is your dream? So step one is define your dream and get a burning desire for its achievement. That is the first principle of success. That is the first money-making secret they don't want you to know about. You have to know what you want, and you have to have a burning desire for its achievement. Number two, in addition to knowing what you want and have a burning desire for its achievement, the second money-making secret they don't want you to know about is you have to feel good when you think about your dream. Most people think about their dream and feel bad because they don't have it. You have to feel good even though you don't have it. And let me give you an example of the feeling that I'm talking about. Let's say that you and I were at a seminar. And during the break, I came up to you and said, today's your lucky day. We just drew a name out of the hat. And your name came up as the winner. And the prize that you just won is $100,000 in cash. How do you feel? 
Now think about this for a second. Seriously, play this game with me because this is going to be a very important lesson. If I came up to you right now and said, you just won $100,000 in cash, guaranteed it's yours, how do you feel? Look, you have to feel better than you did a second ago. Am I right? If I just told you you won $100,000 in cash, you just felt instantly better than you did one second ago, and nothing changed. The money's not in your bank account. Your bills are still there. You just know that you won $100,000 in cash. Your feeling changed dramatically, although nothing changed at all in your physical reality. Nothing changed. Just the knowledge. The only thing that changed is your thinking. The way you think, what you're thinking about changed. You say, no, I just want 100000 but you don't have the money yet. So nothing changed. You just got news. You're just thinking different, and your thinking changed the way you feel. Now watch this. What if I said, yes, you want $100,000. Here is the check, and it's a certified check, which means it ain't going to bounce. It's certified. It's a bank certified check. Here it is with your name on it. How do you feel? You feel great. It's in your hand now, right? But you notice something on that check. The check says you can't deposit it for 24 months. How do you feel? Well, a little let down. So now, just on a new piece of information, your feeling changed. But you have a certified check, a bank check, for $100,000 with your name on it. It ain't going to bounce. It's real money. But you can't deposit it, which means you can't spend it, you can't do anything with it, for 24 months. How do you feel? You feel, think about it, how do you feel? You feel good, don't you? Because it's your money. And even though you can't spend it for 24 months, you know that 24 months, you're putting it on the calendar, you're putting that money in the bank. That is exactly how you have to feel when you think of your dream. You don't have your dream car today. But you have to believe that 24 months from now, or 36 months from now, or 48 months from now, it doesn't matter. But you have to believe that it has been given to you. It is absolute. It is yours. It's coming. But you won't be able to drive it. It's not going to be in your driveway for 24, 36, 48 months, or whatever. But it is absolutely yours. You feel better. Do you understand? That's how you have to feel. So step one is you have to define your dream. That means know what you want and get a burning desire for its achievement. But step two, and without step two, step one ain't going to work. Step two is you've got to feel good when you think about what you want. And you have to feel like it is absolutely coming in. And you have to feel good even though you don't have it. That is the trick. That is the key. Absolutely. Next success secret. Number three. Unsuccessful people have a common denominator. They're surrounded by dream stealers. Unsuccessful people, people who are struggling, are surrounded by family, neighbors, friends, co-workers, classmates, teachers, coaches that are dream stealers. They try to steal your dreams. They tell you you can't do things. They don't support you as you pursue your dreams. If you have a dream of becoming financial, financially free or financially independent, the dream stealers try to steal your dream. Conversely, successful people have the exact opposite. They're surrounded by family, friends, co-workers, neighbors, and associates who support their dreams, who are for them, who build them up. So the third money-making secret they don't want you to know about, and you will never read about this in any book on success, ever, and that is this. 
if you want to become successful and make huge amounts of money, you have to associate with like-minded people that are pulling for you. It is a requirement. How do you find these people? Well, you can join a country club, an exclusive country club. You can go to Harvard or Yale. You'll meet people there that are pulling for you. If you were lucky to be born in the Kennedy family or the Rockefeller family or some affluent family, your family would pull for you. But generally, you're going to have to join some private club, some private association, some private group of motivated, success-oriented people that will pull for you. That is a virtual requirement if you want to become successful. You need people pulling for you. Think about this. Your income is the average of your five best friends. So you have to develop friendships with like-minded people that have dreams and goals just like you that you can pull for and support, and they in turn can support and pull for you. That is key. It is a, it is a required ingredient on the recipe for success and making money. Next. The next success principle, number four, the words you speak will determine your success. What you say with your mouth is what you get. Most people get hung by the tongue. The words you speak, the words that come out of your mouth, are they positive words? Are they negative words? Do you speak encouraging sentences or discouraging sentences? Do you say things like, well, it never works out for me. Oh, I'm, I'm unlucky. Oh, I'm having a bad day. Oh, I feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. Oh, I got a boss, man. It's one of those days. Oh, I'm really struggling today. What do you say with your mouth? What comes out of your out of your off your tongue? Successful people say things positive because words have power. If somebody asks you how you're doing, don't say, "Well, could be better, could be worse." If somebody says how you're doing, say something positive, such as, "I'm doing terrific. I'm super good, I'm getting better." I'm having a fantastic day. How you doing? Man, I'm doing great. Life is tremendous. Say positive words. Shad Helmstetter wrote a great book years ago called What Do You Say When You Talk to Yourself? Powerful book. Powerful concept. Money-making secret number five. Earl Nightingale did a record album years ago called The Strangest Secret. And in that album, he realized or discovered or articulated is a better way of saying it. The strangest secret to success, which is you become what you think about most of the time. You become what you think about most of the time. So the money-making secret, number five, is think about what you want. Think about your dreams. Remember, the first success secret was define your dream and get a burning desire for its uh, achievement. Number two is you have to feel good when you think about your dreams. Number three is you have to be around people that are supporting you. Number four was speaking the right words. The fifth one is Think about your dreams all the time. And, of course, feel good about it. So not just define your dream and get a burning desire for its achievement, but think about your dreams all the time and feel good when you think about it. The more you think about your, your dreams, the more you think about what you want, while you're feeling good will mean you will attract this into your life. Number six. You have to read books. Leaders are always readers. We're being programmed 24-7. TV, radio, newspapers, magazines, our friends with negative thoughts. We have developed 
stinking thinking, as Zig Ziglar says, which develops hardening of the attitudes. We develop negative thinking, which gives negative transmission of frequency, which attracts negative things in your life. You've got to get your thinking turned around. You've got to get happy. You've got to feel good. You've got to get your thoughts correct. And there are a lot of thoughts that you need to correct. How do you correct your thoughts? Read books. What books? Ask and it is given. Read the book, See You at the Top. Read the book, Think and Grow Rich. Read Law of Success in 16 Lessons. Read The Magic of Believing. Read The New Psycho-Cybernetics. Read How to Win Friends and Influence People. Read How to Gain Power and Confidence in Dealing with People. And there are a lot of other great books out there. Read those books. Read a book called The Go-Getter. Read every day, even if it's a sentence. Leaders are always readers. Books, by the way, have vibrational power. Physical paper pages with words printed on them vibrate, and books have vibration. Don't buy digital versions and read them on Kindles and things. You're missing out on half of the benefit. Physically holding the book in your hand and reading gives you the full benefit. Read books read books. Number seven, listen to audios every day. Our mind picks up data differently when you listen as opposed to read. One is not better than the other, but they are vastly different. So the recipe is not only do you have to read books every day, but you have to listen to positive audio training every day. This is the only way to push out the negative thoughts and vibrations and frequencies that you're putting out into the universe, giving you the crappy life you have. <laughs> this is the only way to change it. So listening to positive, inspirational, and educational audio training is vitally important. Next. Number eight. Attend seminars on a regular basis. You need to associate with, in a physical environment, other people that want success. Attend seminars on success, seminars on motivation, inspirational lectures on a regular basis. Doing so will allow you to surround yourself with other positive, like-minded people. In an environment where the frequency and energy is so high, you're bathing in this frequency, and it virtually changes your DNA frequency to attract things in your life key success principle. Number nine, you need to get recognized for your, your achievements. You need, you need to have people applaud for you, show you praise, acknowledge what you've done in your life. You need to be in an environment where you can get recognized and be in an environment where you can gladly recognize other people's achievement. When you give recognition, you're putting out a vibration to someone else, and you're, the, you're getting benefit by putting out a positive vibration. Because whatever vibration you put out into the universe, the universe will give you people, places, and events and situations that make you feel that way even more. So if you're recognizing somebody for their achievement and applauding them and are proud of them, the universe is going to give you situations where you're going to feel more pride and more happiness and more glee for yourself. So you get huge benefit when you recognize others. When people recognize you, they're throwing positive vibration toward you. It is increasing your frequency and vibration, which means you start attracting more money and more good things in your life. So give and receive recognition. And lastly, you need to develop relationships with like-minded, positive people who have goals and dreams. Your income is the average of your five best friends. You have to have new friends. You have to have friends that are pulling for you, people that are encouraging you to go for your dream, to write that novel, to start that invention, to start that small business. If you want to make money and want to become financially free and independent, if you want a yacht, if you want that brand new Porsche, you want friends who say, man, you can do it, instead of friends who are going, what makes you think you can do that? You're not that smart. Ah, oh, those things never work. Nobody makes money in those things. You need to have friends who are positive, enthusiastic, motivated, 
who have goals and dreams just like you. You need to support them, and they need to support you. That's the key. These are money-making secrets that they really don't want you to know about. Now, do they work? Well, they work better than you could ever imagine. A few years ago, I went to the Alps in Central Europe, in the Swiss Austrian Bavarian region. I have a friend who has a private compound there, about a hundred million dollar compound. And he let me use it for the weekend. I invited some people around the world and I charged ten thousand dollars per person to come for two days where I would teach the success secrets that aren't available in any other book or audio training program. Success secrets that I learned throughout my life. People paid ten thousand dollars to come. And for two days, I gave them the step-by-step -step procedure on how to achieve massive amounts of money and success. I also did some very specific things with the language patterns that I used in the lecture, as well as my frequency broadcasting, that virtually reprogrammed everyone in the room for success and virtually turned them into a money magnet. So when they left, whether they did anything or not, they were going to start attracting more money in their life. Over the next few months, virtually every single person wrote in letters telling me miraculous stories of how they were making money without even trying. It was almost spooky, but I knew it works, and I knew it would happen. I then went into the studio with the recordings, and I edited those live recordings. I also did some in-studio recordings and I put together a 14 CD package called Your Wish Is Your Command How to Manifest Your Desires. Never in history has an audio CD package been put together that gives this type of information on how to make money and how to achieve success. It is a revolutionary breakthrough in success and achievement training. It's actually being called the Think and Grow Rich of Our Time. I put together that package and then I sold it in the open market for a thousand dollars. People from all over the world purchased that program. Tens of thousands of units have been sold. Actually it's estimated well over a hundred thousand units have been sold by people all over the world. I have in my files thousands and thousands and thousands of letters from people all over the world that have listened to that program, Your Wish Is Your Command, and said it has miraculously changed their life for the better. Not only are they making more money, but they're having better relationships. They've attracted new cars, new houses. They've attracted lovers and better relationships. They've brought in money and paid off all their bills. They paid off all their credit cards because of listening to your wishes, your command. They paid off their student loans. They've gotten better jobs. I had a woman in California, and this made all the newspapers. She won the California lottery for $110 million, and she said basically it was because she applied the techniques in the CD series, Your Wishes, Your Command. Yeah, there is a science to luck, and you can get luckier in all areas of your life. Now, certainly not everyone's going to win a $110 million lottery. But I believe by going through this program, you will become much luckier in all areas of your life. You know, there was a guy in Maine who used to work for UPS. He used these techniques. I taught him personally these techniques. And within two years, he had a company in Maine, one of the largest employers of Maine, a company generating almost $200 million a year in sales. There was a lawyer in Maryville, Indiana, that I taught these techniques to. Within 18 months, he deposited in his accounts over $30 million using the information and the techniques from the Your Wish Is Your Command CD set. It was a fellow in Tennessee that I met. He was wearing shorts and flip-flops and a t-shirt, and the t-shirt was dirty. He had filed bankruptcy. He was living in his mother-in-law's house in the basement. 
He had no money. He used the techniques in the Your Wishes Your Command CD series. Twelve months later, he deposited over one million dollars in cash in his bank accounts. This is real, and it's happening to people all over the world. These money-making secrets, these success secrets, do in fact work. There was a fellow from uh, the Boston area. He used to work in a pizza joint making pizzas. He used these techniques. A few years later, he had his own limousine, a brand new Rolls Royce, a mansion, a yacht, a private island, and a company with over, over 300 employees doing hundreds of millions of dollars in business. These techniques work. There was another gentleman I met who had just gotten out of jail for selling drugs. Nowhere to go. He used these techniques and within a few short months was earning over $70,000 a month in income. Starting from zero. Coming out of jail, starting with nothing. Remember, Napoleon Hill said it best. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe, it can achieve. Get back with the person who gave you this audio and simply ask them how to get the program to your wishes, your command. When you get it, make sure you listen to the program in the next 14 days. That's listening to one CD per day. Now, if you want to get the maximum benefit from the Your Wishes, Your Command program, listen to two CDs a day. That way you'll finish within seven days. But get back with the person who gave you this audio and simply ask them how to get the program to Your Wishes, Your Command. Go through it for yourself and see for yourself. When you're through listening, the person who gave you the Your Wishes, Your Command will also answer any questions you have about the program to make sure that you understand it fully. They'll also tell you how you can get a free, all-expense-paid, three-night, four-day, luxury tropical cruise with me. Every year, I take at least one, two, or even three cruise ships, fill it up with people from all over the world, over 2,000 people, and we sail for three nights, four days. We have an amazing time. I meet people individually. I do seminars and workshops on the ship with other incredibly successful people. It's a vacation and a learning experience of a lifetime and the ability to meet me personally and also meet other positive, enthusiastic, success-oriented people from around the world. It can be yours. It'll be my gift absolutely free. The individual who you got this audio from will explain how you can get that free cruise after you've listened to the entire Your Wishes, Your Command series. Your dreams can come true. You know, Bill Gates, one of the richest men in the world, was on the Larry King Show. And Larry asked him what the secret to success was. And Bill Gates said, Larry, timing. I was at the right place at the right time, and luck has a lot to do with that. You're not listening to this audio by accident. You are at the right place at the right time. Think about it. But Bill Gates wasn't through. He said, but Larry, there were a lot of people at the same place I was. The difference was I had vision. I saw the potential in the computer industry. Folks, you're listening to this audio. Do you have vision? Do you see the potential in yourself? Do you see your dreams? And do you see yourself in those dreams? Do you see yourself achieving those dreams? What type of vision do you have? But Bill Gates wasn't through. He said, but Larry, there were a lot of people at the same place I was, and a lot of people had the same vision. The real difference was I took massive and immediate action. And folks, that's where the rubber meets the road. You're listening to this audio because you want to make money. You have goals and dreams. You want financial freedom. You want to be free. You want all your credit cards paid off. You want to be debt-free. You want... $10,000 a month coming in, month after month after month, $20,000 a month, month after month after month? How would you like $50,000 a month, month after month after month? Think about it. Do you want money? Well, you're going to have to do something. Successful people are always willing to do what the other guys ain't willing to do. Get the program, go through it. 
This could be the opportunity you've been looking for, and it could be what you've been searching for your whole life. I know that you can make your dreams come true. Don't let anyone steal your dreams. If you get the Your Wishes, Your Command series and go through it, I can end by saying I know I'll see you at the top, and I hope to meet you on the beaches of the world.